this is Lisa Saldo with MATV's Neighborhood View, and tonight we were at the fifth annual Taste of Malden at the Malden YMCA. There are a lot of great vendors here, and we are going to tell you what is new on the Malden restaurant scene. Let's check it out. Hi, this is Lisa Saldo with MATV's Neighborhood View, and I am at the Taste of Malden's fifth celebration with Mayor Gary Christensen. Now, you know this is a celebration I'm going to make every year on account of me eating out every night. <laughs> so I'm a little embarrassed. Every table knows me by name, and they know my credit card number, but yeah, I'm just so happy that uh, we're able to do this thanks to the Chamber and the Y. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of great stuff happening in Malden. No what doubt. do you think is making Malden such a hotbed for new restaurants? Well, I think it's a combination of things. Uh, one is the neighborhood view, and two is um, just everybody, I think, rallying together to create that community spirit that every city or town needs to survive today. Definitely. Yeah. The community supports all the new restaurants. Right. And Look at all the nonprofits that are here, all the restaurants that are here, city officials. I mean, I think it's a good sign for us. Lisa Selda with MATV's Neighborhood View, and we are with Joanne from the YWCA at the wine raffle table. Tell us a little bit about what you guys are raffling off here, Joanne. Okay, so we have this entire um, wine um, table, and whoever wins the wine raffle, they get the entire table with the refrigerator, the wine rack, and all of the wines, and all of the fancy glasses and everything. That's a great prize. Absolutely. So if they're a wine drinker, I'm sure that they can drink themselves into oblivion. <laughs> and they'll have a great, they'll have a whole lot of friends yeah, right? for at least while the wine lasts. <laughs> but you have something new coming up this year. Yep, not necessarily product new, but um, as most people have heard, and we'd like to spread the word throughout the community that Piandosi is celebrating our 100th anniversary this year. 100 years in Malden. We're at the Ferry Street booth at Taste of Malden, and I'm with Jason, the executive chef. Hi, Jason. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Excellent. So can you tell us a little bit about what's new or upcoming at Ferry Street this month or so? Uh, we're actually in the process of rolling out some uh, some new spring menu items. Uh, so it's out with the fall, winter, and with the spring and summer. Um, got like grilled pork chop, uh, marinated cucumber salad, uh, a couple new dessert items, pina colada, panna cotta. So definitely some uh, new items rolling in and still have some of the old standby favorites that everybody uh, <laughs> has come to know about us. So, yep, awesome. A couple of them that we have here tonight, actually. Uh, the Girl Scout Cookie Cheesecake. Yes, that looks uh, delicious. Which is, you know, become more infamous than famous, <laughs> I think. Uh, and, of course, our Chocolate Powder Creme, uh, nice. another That's dessert That's one of standard. my favorites. <laughs> Appreciate it, yeah. Um, so what kind of events do you guys have coming up? Uh, well, month of May is uh, is packed for us. Uh, Cinco de Mayo is obviously a big uh, big restaurant, big celebra celebratory day, um, and also the uh, Kentucky Derby. Um, it's something we celebrated last year, and uh, big horse racing fans. Um, <laughs> and again, it's uh, it, it's just a great outing. You know, we have uh, prizes for best costumes, uh, stick pony races. <laughs> Plenty of mint juleps, and, and then of course Mother's Day is coming up, um, so we have uh, plenty of availability for brunch that day. Excellent. Yeah. All right. So make your reservation soon. So what can you tell us about why Malden is such a vibrant new restaurant scene? I just think we have so many different cultures that come together and mix. It's a it's a great opportunity to get out there, try foods that you haven't necessarily had before. Um, there's a new seafood restaurant called Ming's. I'd highly recommend you you check out that. Really, really good authentic Chinese food. Um, of course, there's always Hugh O'Neill's, uh, a very, very good staple of Malden. Yep, good time. Irish pub food. Yep. Uh, great beer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, we have Exchange Street, which I think is really dynamic. I love that. Uh, great martinis. Yep. <laughs> um, and then, um, of course, we have so many other great places, yep. All Seasons, uh, Mystic Station. So. Well, Dom's has been in the process of expanding their kitchen. It's almost complete. And so one of our big initiatives is to grow our corporate catering sales. So we do have... Um, Tonight we have a brand new marinade that we're introducing. It's called the Red Sox Marinade. Perfect for opening day. Yeah, that's great. And it's a vinegar-based marinade that's also sweet and spicy. It's excellent. Well, I, I can't claim to be the inventor. This is my grandmother's recipe. So I have reinvented it, and, um, and I'm very proud of this. Dee Dee's dressing, we are from Malden, and uh, we started four years ago, and in my kitchen, 
And then I went to Project Triangle and hired some people with ability to help me and then it progressed to a manufacturer and we are now in 13 Whole Foods and hope to be in a lot of new restaurants that are here tonight. Oh my gosh, that's so great. It's wonderful. We are nonprofit. 100% of the proceeds benefit children for educational and athletic needs in my son's memory. So it's a super, super wonderful product with purpose and, um, and it's just terrific and good tasting. This is Lisa Solda signing off from the Taste of Malden's fifth annual celebration. Now I am going to have my Taste of Malden, the Samoa Cheesecake from Ferry Street Food and Drink. Mm -hmm. That's good.